Nanak Nandi regains the devotee with most joy. He comes to the story of Bhagiratha, the king who hailed in Raghuvamsha, the same dynasty in which Lord Rama was born. During a severe drought, King Bhagiratha performs severe penance to bring the holy water to the earth, that is the river Ganges, the celestial river, from the heavens to the earth. He does this because due to some sins committed by his forefathers, they were cursed in not having any rain, even the rivers drained up. So King Bhagirata is not able to do any ritual so that the souls of his departed forefathers could reach heaven and his kingdom will thrive because his subjects are suffering without water. River Ganges, in her all glory, comes down and presents herself in front of King Bhagirata and informs him that I will be able to come here on one condition, but because of my power, the whole world will be drowned with my water. The force of my arrival will not be able to stop by anybody. King Bhagirata is distraught. He immediately calls out to Lord Shiva and seeks his help in getting river Ganges to the earth. Lord Shiva explains to him that, not to worry, I will take care of it. As Ganges comes down roaring, Shiva gathers every drop of her water in his locks. King Bhagirata is again distraught. He has no water. The whole water is held up in Shiva's locks. He again prays to Shiva and seeks at least give us a drop of the river. The kind-hearted Shiva opens up his locks and just allows a trickle of the river which now flows in India, the Bharata Rasha. The Bhagiratas is called the Bhagirata Pratna. He never gave up in spite of a lot of defeats.
Thank you.